morning or good evening, everyone. Uh, this is Osama Hussein, the AU LISA sustainability experiment, the design and the analysis and the results. In any experimental design, we will have the input, the design we start with, and we measure, but we should care, should take care of what is the controllable factors we are studying and we want to uh, see its effect and what is the uncontrollable factors that we cannot study and try to put it on the error term so we get our results, just general. So uh, we start as a member of the LISA 2020 on May 2020. Also, uh, it is a uh, certified academic Statistical Consulting Center for the whole of Alexandria University, Egypt. In the first year, we are prospering and we have a good uh, results. More than 20 consultations for academic stuff in all different fields in the university. Eight one-day workshops to prepare for the center staff. Five small publications prepared by the staff members, editing, the statistical analysis for papers submitted to some medical journals. We became an official editor for this journal. Recruiting academic staff, graduate, newly graduate, undergraduate students to take uh, the statistical consultation uh, or certificate. In the summer, it was much better. We have accreditation for many uh, MSCC thesis, and we try to make this an, an obligation for any uh, student who submit a, a thesis to the university or publish a paper should have an accreditation of his or her uh, statistical analysis from AU LISA. We have uh, 12, at least three training days attending for more than 33 needs for preparation for the statistical consulting certificate courses, the training done by four academic staff members. We have more than five consultations to academic staff in many different fields. That's what's good. What's bad starting from the fall of uh, 21, from September to December 21. What we observe, number one, fewer number of consultations requested. This is due to some of our staff, which is a good consultation, consultants, uh, discouraged to continue with us because of the uh, very poor uh, fees the, we can uh, have. That's one thing. So they prefer to do it outside, not that the academic stuff. Number two, weekly qualified consultation working in the market of the consultations are doing most of the job uh, of the consultation. Sadly, this is a very bad uh, experience. I think this, I don't know if it exists in many other uh, places or not, but we have uh, this. Many of the academic supervisors do not have a good background in statistical thinking and statistical uh, methods. So this is discouraging uh, their students to take uh, the consultation with us. The second obstacle is the fewer number of trainees and of trainers in the statistical consultation certification program. <clears throat> the four trainers we have was a newly uh, graduate PhD students and they work in the uh, department of uh, statistics in many places but they are get very involved in teaching many many courses and many hours at least 20 to 25 hours and preparing new books so they are exhausted completely they don't have time for the consultation Number two, the undergraduate trainees also are involved. Most of them uh, is working part time to uh, have to pay their uh, tuitions for the study. So we cannot find them also. The fees for the certification courses is still very high for them. 
with strategy we do to uh, overcome this uh, problems is two things Num number one building a strong qualified team depending on a newly graduated students the obstacles in this is again the funding in this second strategy increasing the statistical awareness by good training courses and workshops and spread this all over the academic environment so our experiment process will be three steps number one preparing and presenting face-to-face -face training courses in key areas i am convinced that the face to face to face training courses on the lab where the students will apply what he learned is much much more important and especially if it is on real data this is i think much better than just a webinar or a seminar where you don't have the direct interaction with the students so we collect we form it four groups of collaborative members and the each group prepare one of the training course this take too much time because of uh, the we need it to be different and uh, strong and academic of course so uh, we almost finish uh, two of them in sbss and the clinical trials but we cannot uh, present it now because at uh, the months of ramadan or the whole of april our uh, state lab will be uh, completely closed for the uh, evening uh, period which we can work on it so we postpone this after uh, the mid of may or something like this the uh, measures of success in this that we at least 15 clients attending each course repeating the courses at least once the demand for other and more advanced course this is our three measures of success we will have uh, next month the second process in the experiment is involving graduate students in conducting the consultations we perform from a to z from me first meeting of the client until the final products i have three bhd students under my supervision so they work with me in uh, doing this and they do it very well at least uh, each of them will completed two consultation and they are working each one in more than two right now they face many obstacles like the client wants a specific method for the analysis similar to his or her colleagues not the scientific uh, procedure you suggest for him or her the client supervisor thinks that the analysis is advanced and he or she wants a simplified one the clinical the client think that the consultation would do all the job for him from collecting the data to the writing of the uh, report. Number three in the, our process is preparing at least five members to take the local and international statistical consulting certificate. Part of this is the previous two items, and we should have more than training, more training courses for at least the local one by the end of the next summer we expect new uh, more than uh, those uh, five especially the newly graduate students will participate and take the uh, certification the results of this limited uh, experiment partially qualifying three academic staff members and five newly graduate students to be certified consultants preparing for training courses to be presented next month conclusions number one do never and ever give free consultations number two the importance of the second strategy increasing the statistical awareness number three 
integrating the two strategies, preparing good stuff and increase the statistical awareness all around the campus. Lesson four, prepare a dependable lab stuff, good prepared and well made, and this is very important. Lesson five, find fund generating activities. We're working now in convincing the, uh, the university administration of having a big project for the whole university of higher education analytics. They start by suggesting this for us that each unit in the university should have a statistical, a real statistical analysis of their data. But we find that this is a complete branch called uh, higher education analytics. So we try to do this, but I think this will be uh, again in this summer. We can have also some workshops, workshops, training courses outside the university, which can generate some uh, money or jointly with the other uh, branches in the university, which have some applied uh, research projects. Also, we can have a new uh, project that uh, the university will buy a legal version of SCBSS or of Minitab, and this is, will be done, the training and the widespread of this will be done through the AU lease. And this will make the, the consultation better and we can get results and the statistical packages we are using will become legal, which is very, very important. And we get the, I, I will work on this uh, next summer also. Thank you for listening. Uh, my name is Osama Hossein. I'm a full professor of statistics in Alexandria University, Faculty of Commerce. If you have any comment, and uh, we will meet, inshallah, uh, hopefully. Uh, by Wednesday, the 4th of May. So if you have uh, any question, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you and goodbye.